Well, that happened. Hey, my name is David Gortz. Welcome back to Advanced Geekery. Uh, well, this has not been working real well. This is the Creality K2 Plus, and uh, it's been problematic. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind-the-scenes updates on my projects, and must-watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own project spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part? Subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait. Click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. I wanted to give you a status update because a lot of you ask me, why is it that when a 3D printer comes in and I unbox it and set it up, why is there often such a gap? between when I set it up and when I do a review. And the answer is that a lot of these things don't work right when they come. For example, this, turn that a little bit. This is the Cobra 3 combo from Anycubic. And it took me like four months to get it up and running because I had to get a variety of replacement parts, including the motherboard. You guys saw the motherboard replacement project. And I had to wait for that. And then I had to find a block of time to be able to work on it. And it took a lot of time. So a lot of these things, a lot of these printers, as much as the vendors say that they're, um, you know, ready to run, they're ready to run if they make it here okay. And if they work when they show up. This one did great printing a little tiny benchy, as you can see by scale. That's a big printer with a little tiny benchy. And that's because the middle of the build plate is fairly stable, but at the end of the build plate, it really was unstable. So when I tried to scale up the benchy, try to reach this over here and print it, you can see just how much of a mess. I mean, first off, you can print something in this bit. This is really cool. This is why I have such high hopes for this because I mean, this, this is cool, but it's also a total mess. So we spent a lot of time, and when I say we, I mean me and the Creality folks, trying to figure out what's going on with the printer. And the best that we could find, we ran a couple of things. We, we, I went through and looked for all sorts of visual, visual damage, which I didn't initially see, although I will tell you about what they think is the problem. I then ran a special calibration thing for Z offset because basically this is a simple, small print that tests Z wobble. It basically prints from the bottom to the top. Now, in terms of this machine scale, this becomes this. And it's a much bigger piece. And also I print this hollow so that it shows the Z wobble. Now, it turns out that if you scale this thing up to this size, the base doesn't adhere all that nicely to the uh, giant brim that comes with these things. So what I wound up doing was adding a bunch of rectangles. I just jammed a couple of rectangles around the unit to give the tower some solidity. <clears throat> now, this piece, which is pretty clean, printed in the middle of the build plate. This piece, which is anything but clean, printed in the front corner of the build plate. And the front corner of the build plate wobbles tremendously. So really, you can't make anything clean with this printer at this point. So again, I went back and forth with the Creality folks. And their current conclusion is that some of the pins, the, 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 they call them support posts, that are underneath the build plate broke during transit here. So they're sending me replacement posts, and I'm going to have to do another piece of surgery on this thing to fix it. Um, I already had to take the door off and remount it. Um, the next thing I'm going to have to do is basically take the entire innards out and repair the build plate because... The, based on the pictures I took, um, 
Creality thinks that those parts are broken. Now, I, what I had to do is I had to lift the build plate up and kind of balance it and shove uh, a light and my camera underneath to try to get pictures of them. Uh, but that's where we are. So the Creality K2 Plus is, is the review of it is essentially on hold uh, because I've got to get replacement parts. And then um, I had to tear this thing apart and rebuild it. Now, the plus side of this thing uh, in this experience is that it is maintainable. I mean, you have to have some degree of, of willingness to do some mechanical repairs, which I can do, although I would really prefer not to because I have other things to do in my life. Um, but you can do it. So, you know, how long does it take for the parts to get here? Well, it took almost a month and a half for the parts to come here for the Anycubic. I'm, so I'm guessing that, you know, somewhere in the next two weeks to two months, uh, I will fix this thing or at least make the next attempt at fixing this thing. And then, uh, if I can get it working, then this process will be back and I'll tell you about it and I'll run some test prints. I have some some really neat plans for really big test prints uh, for this thing, just to kind of feel for what it, what it can do. And, you know, I mean, you can see the, the really bad wobble in, you know, on the side here, but you can also see the potential for this printer. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I mean, so, you know, um, we'll see what happens. So there you are. That is a status update on a review. Here's where we are. Uh, stay tuned. I've got another couple of videos coming out. I've got a really great build video coming, which should come within the next week uh, for a prank coming off of the Anycubic. I'll have more of those build videos as well as some project videos. So, you know, it's always exciting here at Advanced Geekery. And for Advanced Geekery, my name is David Gowertz. Go out there and fix something awesome.